Oh, 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 what's save. Oh, 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 what's save. Ow. Let's get straight into it. And make the grab. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today, games are getting called off left, right and centre. However, the game that I have planned to go to is currently going ahead. So if you're watching this, it means it did indeed go ahead. So the plan for today, hopefully, is to head off to the Easy Buy Stadium to watch Barton Town versus Lincoln United in the Lincolnshire Senior County Trophy quarterfinal. So in today's video, got my thoughts pre and post match as well as match day vlog itself. And with it being a new ground on the channel, we're going to rate the ground. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So just before we get this video started, if you could ask a huge favour from you all if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and like the video whether you're an old or new viewer. Any support, it goes a long way to helping this channel grow and it's greatly appreciated by me. So let's aim for 30 likes on this video. But anyway, enough about that. Let's head into my pre-match thoughts so let's start off with the league tables then so both these teams are in separate divisions they're both at the same um, level step five which is the ninth tier of english football so barton town uh, they currently play in the ncl premier so both these teams have played 18 games so far this season and barton town are currently sitting ninth place out of 20 teams in the ncl premier after six wins eight draws and four defeats. Whereas Lincoln United, they're playing in the United Counties Premier Division North and they're currently sitting in second place out of 20 teams after 12 wins, one draw and five defeats. So Barton's last result was a 3-1 away defeat to Albion Sports. So that ended a four game unbeaten streak for Barton Town. And one thing about them is they don't lose many matches. They've only lost four games all season out of 18. However, they have drawn eight games, so it's one of them. They're doing, they're doing well at the minute. They've, um, you know, they've um, been in decent form lately and they've climbed up the table. Um, so it's one of them. If you can turn, you know, like I say, eight draws is a lot. So if you can turn a few of them into wins, I'm sure you know they will start to really climb up the table. Before that loss, for just outside of the playoffs, and it only takes one more win just you know to get you right back into it. So if, like I say, if you can turn some of them draws into wins, I'm sure they'll be in a very healthy position. As for Lincoln United, they had a bit of a shock result in their last one, losing 2-1 at home to Hucknall Town. Uh, I actually watched their match, uh, you know, the game before they played Lincoln United, so that is on my channel if you want to check that out. So, a bit of a surprising one, Max. I didn't think they'd have enough to beat second place at Lincoln United. Um, so, they're in a bit of a sticky spell at the minute. They've only won two of their last six games. They had a really good start to the league, winning nine of the first ten games. Um, but, um, you know, they have a bit of a sticky patch at the minute, uh, but we are still in a good position. Like I say, still second in the table. Not a lot in it as well between, you know, the teams who are up there. So I'm sure they'll be, you know, thinking if we can turn this form around a bit, um, you know, we've got a very good chance of challenging for the title and putting themselves in a very strong position for promotion. So like I said, this is the Lincolnshire Senior Trophy quarterfinal. So both these teams have played a round going up to this. So in the first round, Barton had a one all draw away at Harrowby United, which they went on to win 4-3 on penalties. And as for Lincoln United, they had a 3-1 away win at Sleaford Town. So I think that brings me nicely on to my prediction for this game then. So which team is going to book the place in the semi-final? My prediction is... I'm going to go for Lincoln United here. Um, like I say, I said they're not in best of form at the minute. Barton, before that loss, they've been, you know, they've been doing pretty well. They've been hard to beat. Um, I just think, you know, they're a good side, Lincoln United. Uh, you know, FA VAR semi finalist last year. Another strong season in the United Counties League, which that Premier Division isn't easy. Um, you know, they're going pretty strong and um, I think they want to do well in this trophy as well. So I'm going to go for a Lincoln United win. I don't think it'll be easy. Like I say, Barton are hard to beat, uh, but I'm going to go for Lincoln. So I'm going to go Barton Town 1, Lincoln United 2. Anyway, that concludes my pre-match thoughts then. So it's ground number 136 and 11 out of 20 in the Premier Division. So only 10 grounds to go in the NCL 
in total. So there's not going to be a travel montage for this one as I am traveling solo in the car to this one. So I will catch up with you when I arrive at the ground. So I think it's time to get down there then. So without further ado, let's head on down to the Easy Bad Stadium and see how today's game goes. If it's on, which if you're watching this, it will be. Okay, we haven't arrived at today's destination, Barton Town. Um, so sat nav took me a bit of a different way. Uh, tried to park me up the side of the ground, which you can't get in it, so I had to detour. So I ain't got a great deal of time for kickoff, but nevertheless, we're here. It's a very cold one tonight. <laughs> Literally the only game that is on uh, locally, and luckily it's the game that I plan to go to anyway. So anyway, let's get inside and see what it's like. Our underway. Bought in blue, Lincoln England. Half time, no, no. Not been a classic so far. So I'll stay out. Six jumps and two bits of blood. Oh, 
Oh, safe. Team second half. Jesus. Keep a look at that. Time to one to Lincoln United. Can't really feel my toes right now, so I'm gonna go and get one. See if it's full time for us. Okay, so we've just got back from the match and at full time it's finished. Barton Town one, Lincoln United two, and um in terms of entertainment and the overall flow of the game, it really was a game of two halves there. Um to be fair, first half I thought both teams defended pretty well. Uh, the kind of Neither team like let the other team get any kind of clear attacking chances on goal in that first half. Both were pretty solid, kept the shape well, and um, both teams struggled to break the other team down. Uh, and moving into the second half, it entertainment-wise, it were a lot better. Um, the game kind of opened up a bit, um, and both teams had quite a few chances, to be fair. Um, and yeah, it was Lincoln who took the lead. We kind of got two goals quite... Close together, uh, it was kind of a bit of a rough spell for Barton and Lincoln uh, definitely capitalised on that. But before and after that, I thought Barton were looking pretty good. It kind of looked like it could have been anyone who got that um, first goal, but it was Lincoln who got it and then we added the second. Um, and yeah, uh, Barton were a bit off it, um, you know, around that period. But we did get a goal back and that really did spring some life into him and they had quite a few chances. Keith made a really good save to keep the score at 2-1 and um, yeah, it's um, Lincoln who advanced to the semi-final. I'd say overall, I'd say they were a better team. I mean, um, I feel like, you know, they had the clearer chances. They seemed to play it around a bit better. They did just look a bit better than Barton, to be honest with you. Not by much. I thought Barton, apart from, you know, that spell in the second half, um, you know, didn't do too bad. Um, but yeah, I thought, Lincoln United did deserve a win and um, good luck to them in the semi-finals. Um, so yeah, um, it's been a good visit to Barton Town, a very cold one, um, not going to lie, but um, a good one. This will literally probably were the only game that were on around kind of this area. Um, you know, um, even like my local team games, Trinity, who were a few steps higher, their game were off. Um, you know, the games postponed all over. Uh, but nevertheless, I know the title of this says the only game that survived. That didn't mean I only picked it because it was the only one available. This was the game that I planned to come to anyway, um, and I'm glad I did. So, yeah, that's been my experience of Barton Town. So I suppose all that is left to do now is rate the ground. Okay, so it's time for Rate the Ground. So if you're new to the channel, what we do is each new ground we visit in the season, we'll give them a rating on five different categories. So we've got pre-match. The catering, the ground, the atmosphere, and the overall enjoyment. Each is getting a score out of five, 
A total score out of 25, and they will put me into a table with all the other grounds we have visited this season. So this time it is the turn of Barton Town, so without further ado, let's get straight into it and rate the ground. So we'll start things off with pre-match then, so what is there to do with B4 the game? So with non-league, this is mainly going to be the clubhouse, and Barton's got a real nice clubhouse with that. I was very impressed with the clubhouse. It's, um, you know, a big area. You can tell they've put a lot of work into the clubhouse. Um, all the seating's quite spread out, so it's not like one of them where you feel like you're crammed in. Uh, plenty of space, um, a very good bar as well. Um, a good, um, like kind of like food cafe that's um, attached to it. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty good all in all. No complaints from me. It's going to get a three and a half out of five. Next up, we've got the catering. So like I say, I've got a very good um, bar, plenty of choices of alcoholic and soft drinks. Um, Food-wise, they've got a uh, really good cafe. It's um, one of them. They've got a lot of choice of different foods and drinks. Um, you know, you, no matter what sort of stuff you like, you've got, you know, there's going to be an option for you. Prices were pretty good. Staff were both very friendly on the bar and in the cafe. Um, so, yeah, no complaints from me. Plenty of choice. Nothing absolutely outstanding, but plenty of choice and Everything looked really good, to be fair, and my cheeseburger were pretty good. So, overall, it's getting a three and a half out of five. Next up, we've got the ground, and I'll be honest, when I pulled up and uh, when I first walked in, I didn't think it looked like a lot, uh, but then it's kind of hidden around the corner. You kind of go around the corner, and you can see the full uh, setup, and it's a nice setup, to be fair. Um, it's a bit like Redford United. You've got a lot of space around the ground. Um, it's not really that compact. Um, it's quite a big, open area. Um... But yeah, I um, I quite like this ground, to be fair. Um, so in terms of the step, it's at step five. Um, it's pretty good. So I'm going to go for a three out of five. Next, up, we've got the atmosphere. And I'm not going to lie, um, the freezing conditions definitely uh, play a factor in the atmosphere. So I'm going to go one or two ways when it's that cold. Either fans are going to jump around and sing just to keep warm, or you know, we're just going <laughs> to shut, shut her up and um, you know, just try and get through the game. And uh, I think that will case here it was absolutely freezing um and you know it's always going to be hard when it's uh when it's like that like i say first half weren't that entertaining as well so that will play a factor second half it livened up and you know bart won't look like barton could maybe spring a comeback you know it got going a bit but it's never going to be when it's on one of these nights um so yeah not not the best for atmosphere it's going to get a one and a half out of five and finally, we've got overall enjoyment. It's been a good one, to be fair, especially watching the second half. Uh, like I say, a lovely clubhouse, um, the solo trip, which uh, was different, but I did enjoy it. Uh, it probably would have scored higher if I could have felt my toes through the game. I'm not going to lie, but there's nothing Barton can do about that. Um, but yeah, it's been a decent night overall. It's going to get a three out of five. This gives Barton a total score of 14.5 out of 25, which puts them into 26th place so far this season. Level on points with Sherwood, Collery and Hansworth. Uh, so if they level, then the next deciding factor is the overall enjoyment. So the level with Hansworth with that. So if they level on that, the next deciding factor is the ground. And um, yeah, you can see um, that is why uh, Barton are ranked where they are. It, uh, that is kind of the order we do it on. So that is why they are there when we level on points. So, yep, overall been an enjoyable visit to Barton. Um, so a good cup game. All in all, especially, like I say, in the second half where the game really opened up. Uh, so good luck to Lincoln in the next round. And I'm sure we'll be seeing Barton and Lincoln United again at some point. I've still got to get myself to Lincoln United. So... Like I say, it's, that's probably the closest one I've got next to our flight in Gainsborough uh, in terms of distance. So I'll be keeping an eye out for a Lincoln United fixture to get to that. But anyway, until the next video, I'm going to leave it here. So just before I go, this has been the last match day vlog before uh, the Football Content Awards, which is going to be on Thursday night. So this video is getting released for the after the match. So um, it's... So as you're watching this, I'll be heading down to London the next day to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to watch that. So I just want to say thank you very much to everyone who has supported the channel in any way possible. Whether that's subscribing, liking the video or just watching. Um, you know, it all makes a big difference and I wouldn't be there without you guys. So like I say, your nominations made me get there. Um, your votes has gone a long way in towards my final positioning. So... 
We'll find out where I finish on Thursday. But just honestly, thank you. This channel is nothing without you guys. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for all the support. It really does mean the world to me. And hopefully I can bring that award home uh, on Thursday for you guys. So, anyway, like I say, if you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. Whether you're an old or new viewer, do it for my frozen toes. It's been a cold one tonight. Any support is really greatly appreciated, like I say. And there's a long way to help this channel grow. Also, remember to follow my social media at Adam Gittings PT on pretty much everything. I'll be posting lots from my FCAs. Um, so make sure you're following so you can keep up to date with that. There'll also be a vlog coming out probably on the Sunday um, of the experience. But in terms of the next match day vlog, that is going to be on Saturday. We have got Gainsborough Trinity versus Bamba Bridge. So until that video, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.